sometimes the the symptoms don't show up right away, um, and there's a kind of natural healing that can go on just by leaving a war zone. And sometimes it's not good to talk to people, we think now, right afterwards, but rather to almost let the wound heal a little bit on its own. Um, but some of the symptoms we're aware of, and you know, uh, and they will be um, hypervigilance, being in a hypersensory mode, so walk in the perimeter, or listening with acuteness the way you would in a battle area, um, or it might also be flashbacks, um, inability to, to to sleep, or just one moment, one of my soldiers, Rob Kislow, just found himself in a bar with his arms around someone's neck. He strangled this guy. Um, and then he, and then he realized that he, he had heard something and thought he was in fighter mode and had just slipped into fighter mode um, imperceptibly. Um, and that was about a year, you know, after battle. He was in, he, he was uh, a long-term patient at Walter Reed. And f being treated, by the way, for physical injuries, um, loss of arm use, titanium arm replacement, and a and a leg replacement. Um, other times it could also just be this numbing that you, you've, you've had to, um, ex you're exposed to the sorts of stresses that are so superhuman that you have to protect yourself by numbing and you, you um, continue to dissociate afterwards. So those are some of the physical, you know, the, the uh, physiological effects that we're familiar with. But what I'm trying to s explore um, are the, the, the spectrum that doesn't necessarily, um, in, 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 well, may include some of these, but also includes these conf conflict feelings, conflictual feelings, of uh, feeling some guilt for what you did or what you saw and did your best but couldn't help um, to do even better than you wished you could have done, to survive a battle um, when your buddies do don't, to be part of an accident where there's no fault at all, no culpability, but you, um, but, but, but you were implicated, causally implicated and you hold yourself really accountable, or to love your buddies more than you love your spouse or your family. And, you know, one of my soldiers said to me, you know, I'm in a tent with someone day in and day out, and I know when he passes wind at night. I, I know that fart, <laughs> you know. And he said, how can I tell my mother that I am, was that um, physically close to someone? So, so that, the feeling of a betrayal almost of your home family because you've reattached to others who've um, got you through it, or also feeling that life is darn boring at home when you've been so ramped up and rev revved up and hepped up that it's hard to want to hard to find the same kind of thrill and adventure, even though it's filled with danger. Mm -hmm.